So, good morning, or afternoon, or evening, or whenever it is you're watching this. Um, unboxing, yeah. Uh, it's not vaporware. <laughs> um, this particular subject was put on Mobius' site probably two years ago, maybe, uh, give or take, uh, for pre-order. And it's been sort of sitting there ever since. And I went through uh, Call TV Man and had placed an order uh, and, and waited and waited and waited and waited. And I just got the notification last week um, that it was available. So I went ahead and ordered it, not knowing whether, not really assuming it was actually going to show up. But it did. Not only was it the Raptor, but it also has the armament set, which I will unbox in a different one. So we will take this guy and we will set it aside. So I am incredibly excited about this particular kit. Uh, the Colonial Raptor is one of those one of those subjects that it, it's just cool, at least to me. So here's your typical Mobius box, and you know you got. Uh, two cockpits, or two cockpits, two uh, pilots, two figures, detailed interior, etc. So, without much more babbling, because, you know, anybody can look at a box. Let's go ahead and look in it. Um, and this is probably going to jump to the front of my queue after I finish the Horton. Because the Raptor is just too cool. Uh, I'm, I've been really excited about this one. Now, those of you who've been paying attention to my channel for any length of time know that I have a badass version of this, and I, I may do a comparison of these two once I've opened it. Um, and there's a, a link to the badass version unboxing I will put down below. So, cracking into this, set the box aside. That looks like that's broken off. We have our cockpit. We have pieces that are protected. We have quite a bit of plastic. We have our interior piece. We have our can our outside and we have it. So let's put this aside here. First things first, we have our um, what do you call it? Decals. That's the word I'm looking for. Decals, decals, however you want to say them. And there we go. Dratus, your computer stuff. Looks kind of nice. They look maybe a touch thick, but they're also small. I don't see a lot of overset, so uh, it looks like you're. RCS thrusters are decals, which will not work for me, so we will be drilling those out. Here's our instruction book in the in the BSG clipped corner format. Looks kind of straightforward. Your cockpit, your pilot. Cockpit looks pretty straightforward. The interior housing and all the interior uh, pieces, they look look like they're pretty detailed. If we look at that, um, you see, I imagine that this will open itself up or be available for lighting. We'll take a better look at that as we go through. Uh, it looks pretty straightforward. It looks pretty simple, simplistic. Um, there's your instrument panel, your decal placement. Yeah, you have RCS thruster. Apartment walls, those things, color callouts. Here we go. Um, nice. And color callouts for your painting for your cockpit and interior. So, that's that. Take a look at our plastic. So, Um, these are brand new, so I expect this stuff to be crisp, and they are. 
looks like this is not a very small kit, which, you know, it's a 132nd scale, which is not surprising. That looks good. This is your interior with your plate decking. Right, well, so holes there. Pieces and parts. Your wings, so those are your wings right there. Let's go ahead and crack this bag open to get a better look at those. So, very nice. There's your upper wing. And top deck. Your other upper wing and deck. Your interior hull. The details look pretty crisp there. And your bottom. There's your bottom part of the hull. Mounting point. Very nice. Set to the side. Over here. The plastic out of the way. We'll look at the clear parts in a minute. They don't want to, you know, get them lost or mislay or whatever wood you want to use. So. Screw gate there. Your radar dish. Pito tubes. Detail is clean. Get more of your wing. There's your cockpit pieces, so that's a good look at your cockpit instrumentation. And that actually looks really good. And it would allow for some fairly decent lighting. A little bit of taking your time to do so, but so if we want to light those two screens, you're going to have to be a little creative with how you hollow those out, but that's doable. Um, those two screens are right behind ejector pin marks, so that's workable. A little bit of flash, which is sort of surprising considering this is brand new. Not that it's bad, just surprising. Not bad for us, and we have a piece that fell off. Hey, Mark, you. Really? Hmm. So I've heard stories as far as why it took so long to get this delivered, having to do with licensing and so forth, but... Yeah, you know, I don't I don't follow all I know is I placed the order an eternity ago and it only just now became available. But considering the subject, for me anyway, it was worth the wait. There's your back interior panel. Crisp. Not much there, but I don't think there's much there on that panel either. It's been a while since I've actually looked. This just sort of showed up today, so I'm like, yeah. I'm very excitedly down here looking at the things. There's one pilot. Kind of soft a little, but it's your backside and so your hands are soft. I mean. That's a little unimpressive. There's, there's no fingers. Not even fingers. It's just sort of blah. Um, what's this other guy look like? This one look as bad? That's a little bit disappointing. Looking at that. Um, it's kind of mushy. Really crappy seam line. So there may not be a pilot in mind. This may just be done with landing gear and, and open. Which, you know, if I do that, then then I can show off the interior. But that's a little bit disappointing here. And these here, I'm going to bet in here is the face mask for the pilots. 
helmet. Or not. I genuinely don't know what was supposed to be there. Ah, there we go. Those two, those two lights right there. Okay, so those two running, that running light. Okay. So maybe it's not the face mask for the pilot. I will put that in here. Put that back in the Ziploc baggie, because I can. And your stand and your windscreen. So let's see what your canopy screen looks like. And it's a little So the the flat surfaces are kinda cool. These have some wave to them because of the way it's done. A little bit disappointing, but okay. So that, folks, is the unboxing of the Colonial Raptor from Mobile. Uh, pretty straightforward kit. Looks to be um, looks to be pretty solid. I didn't open this bag, so I will. It, it's a decent kit. Um, price tag not too terrible. Uh, this guy so it looks like it's got plug in and it looks like I'm not even gonna fiddle with it um, detail is sharp enough but maybe not perfect um, obviously I will do a video as I put this thing together and there are some things I like about it so there's your instrument panel that goes to the internal side now that's that to me looks a little bit soft around the edges here and again, I'm a little surprised at how soft that is with them being new, but it is a uh, a fairly unique subject. Um, you don't find a lot of these. Like I said, Badass is the only other one that has out there, and this is, you know, what, about half the price? So um, that's your Colonial Raptor kit from Mobius. A couple things I'm a little disappointed with. Like I said, the pilot's. A little soft, you know, a little bit of soft on the detail. But uh, as I go through this and put this together, we'll see what she ends up looking like. Uh, but there you go. If you are interested in this kit, you can pick it up from any of the distributors for Mobius models. And I hope this helps you. And if you're interested in it, this gives you what you would want to need before you purchase. Thank you.